Good evening on this Saturday wet and dreary evening. Uh, the Buckeyes are winning and I think they're going to win tonight. The last I saw it was 52 to 0. So, Wisconsin, sorry. Mm -hmm. So, here is a few answers and questions. This is my wife uh, trying to be serious when she was asking me a question. Uh, so, I'm just going to go straight into it. It's a quick blog tonight. So, have a look, see what you think. And tomorrow, I will do more of a. Um, Longer one. Enjoy. Was you in the hospital when you found out you needed a nail vad? Or was your heart slowly failing and were you scared? I was in the hospital after having a heart attack and I was petrified. And when they told me I needed an LVAD, I didn't know what to think. I'd never heard of one. Um, and I still kind of don't understand what the heck happened at that point but it changed my life it saved my life and if only i'd known what i know now i wouldn't have been scared so how do you feel about the elvan now um i i love it it's my friend <laughs> No, I mean, are you afraid of the batteries going low or the sound, or do you wake um, up scared every day that am, something tragic is going to happen? Uh, I am I'm scared of thunderstorms. Uh, if there's a thunderstorm before uh, I go to bed and I see the weather forecast, I won't sleep very soundly, so I will either put myself on batteries or sleep with one eye open like a fish. Um, and no, I'm not really scared. Sometimes I'll, I'll be 12, 13 hours with my batteries and the, and the alarm will go off to let me know the battery is getting low. But um, I'm used to that. And I have my son around who will run to get me a next set of batteries. And if I go anywhere, I actually do have a bag full of batteries, two batteries and another control unit, which uh, stays with me everywhere. It actually looks like a parachute. Um, so, yeah, I'm not scared. So, if someone is in the hospital watching this and their loved one's about to get an LVAD, what would you say to them? Uh, I would say do a little research, do some Googling. There are a lot of people out there that have got LVADs, more than you actually think. Um, and there are some, there is a, a like a jazzercise instructor, which I don't know how she jumps around with one of these on. Um, but... Uh, you have no fears because it's gonna bring your life back, gonna bring you back to life and um, you're gonna be alive and you're gonna be able to breathe and you're gonna be able to spend time with your family. And whether you're on destination or you're a bridge, um, I couldn't imagine being on destination, but sometimes the Alvad will give your heart a rest and some people will actually have them explanted um, and some people that actually years ago that wouldn't make it any further can now live another 5, 10, 15 years, which I think is incredible. I wish technology was around when my father was around, although he didn't pass away in 25 years ago of a heart attack. Technology these days is incredible. So the LVAD becomes a part of you? The LVAD is part of me. It's a... Uh, it's, um, these are my guns. <laughs> your big guns. Let me see your big guns. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Fire power. <laughs> no, these are, this is part of me. And I can't take this off. This never comes off. People say you take this off. And if I took it off, then um, I wouldn't be here right now. So I put these sometimes in my cargo pants. And you can put them in the back of your jeans, which is a little... Uh, a little rough on the old butt, but uh, I don't know, I look at life completely differently. It may not be the best thing to, to wear or may people may, might think, wow, what is he? You can scare some people when you take your, your coat off in a restaurant because they think you've got two guns hanging off your shoulder or uh, a bomb. Always best to tell the police force that you're uh, coming to town 
and you're not a terrorist. Um, and that is actually a very serious thing, because I told a policeman that this isn't a bomb, and also if I do fall over in the street that I'm not dead, not to give me CPR, because if you do that you're going to crush everything, and you would kill me. So uh, go to your police department. So I hope you in I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, if you have any questions at all, like I say on my uh, my YouTube channel underneath the comments, please ask me questions. Uh, I'll try and answer them, and hopefully through the week we're going to get some uh, people Skyping with me, and uh, we can answer some other questions. I'm going to get other people's views that have got Alvads, maybe even some heart transplant um, peeps. So uh, on that note, happy Saturday evening. Uh, have a safe and warm Sunday morning. If you're going to church, be careful. Say a couple of prayers for each other. But uh, apart from that, see ya.